Hello my friends, new video today. This time we are going to be looking into Realty Income Stock. I'll try to provide an analysis of Realty Income. I'll explain what the stock is about, summarize its business model, discuss its current condition, of course its risks, chances for investment, and of course possibly provide a forecast based on market situations. Last but not least, I'm going to conclude who and who shouldn't consider, consider investing into the stock. So let's start with the Realty Income explanation. Realty Income Corporation, also known as the Monthly Dividend Company, is a real estate investment trust, which is uh, to most of you guys known as a REIT. That's at least what it stands for. Uh, it's listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol O, and the company's primary objective is to provide stockholders with reliable monthly income and favorable long-term risk-adjusted returns. Realty Income owns and leases a diversified portfolio of properties, encompassing various industries and serving clients across different different geographic locations. The company generates rental income from its properties and distributes it to shareholders in the form of monthly dividends. So let's start with the business model. My key points of the business are first of all um, a diverse portfolio, meaning realty income holds around 11 thousand properties across different sectors which helps diversify its risk exposure next there's the triple net lease structure the company operates under a triple net lease structure where tenants are responsible for property expenses such as taxes insurance and maintenance costs Next, there's its reliable monthly income. Realty income aims to provide shareholders with a reliable and consistent stream of monthly rental income. And of course, there's a strategic expansion going on, meaning the company focus on uh, strategic expansion efforts that um, grow its portfolio, increase cash flow and support dividend growth, which is also why it may seem as a great long-term investment. So uh, the long-term risk-adjusted returns, uh, and in this case, Realty Income aims to deliver favorable long-term and risk-adjusted returns to shareholders, balancing income generation and potential capital appreciation. So next, let's get to the current condition and stock performance. Um, the realty income current situation and the stock performance in the past um, 12 months are influenced by various factors. The company faced challenges due to tenants impacted by COVID-19, uh, such as gym operators and movie theaters, and this is still seen till this day obviously so that's of course taken a hit to the stock itself and led to it not performing as well even in 2022 so if you have a look at its current um, share based value you can see that it has fallen about 10 percent over the last year which of course doesn't look too great for uh, stock of this caliber. So the market capitalization is quite high, looking at th 37 billion euros, which is around 41 billion dollars. And um, obviously, if you have a look at the 52 week high and low, it's currently um, in a candle of around uh, 68 euros to 50 euros. And right now, as you can see here, it's uh, trending on the low end of its uh, value. But that doesn't have to mean that this is a bad thing. It could um, actually pose a, as a very nice um, situation to get into the stock for a very nice price. Because as you can see, the current dividend yield uh, sits around 5.21%. So that means um, it's a very high entry point in terms of... Um, dividend yield as historically speaking it used to trend at around three to four percent uh, dividend yield and whenever it hits uh, the five percent mark it was very soon to get up to a much higher level again so 
Next, um, I personally find it very important to also speak about the risks because um, with, when, when it comes to talking about stocks in general and companies, um, there's no money to be made when there's no risk because otherwise you wouldn't invest into companies but you would just leave your uh, money on the bank uh, for whatever safety that is. Um, but of course, when investing in companies, there's always a risk of bankruptcy and uh, several um, factors come into that as well when it comes to uh, realty income. So first of all, there are tenant challenges meaning realty income faces the risk of tenant bankruptcies or defaults, especially during economic downturns or industry specific challenges. Could we well see this uh, when it came to COVID-19, but also um, the current market situation uh, as we are in a not so great financial uh, market situation for most um, tenants, at least when it comes to um, retail stores and the likes um, doesn't look too too great for tenants in general so next um, there's some sort of interest uh, rate sensitivity because REITs in general like realty income are sensitive to changes in interest rates and rising interest rates can increase borrowing costs for the money that they need for um, the buildings and of course it affects the company's profitability and valuation um, last but not least I Personally, would also look at the market conditions. The poor performance of um, realty income is influenced by overall market conditions, including the demand for retail properties, consumer spending patterns, and economic cycles. So, of course, with risks, there also come opportunities. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a look at this stock right now. And the chances for this type of stocks are quite vast. So first of all, there's the monthly dividends. Uh, Realty income offers reliable monthly dividends, making it appealing to income seeking investors. And of course, um, when there are many investors looking at it for the monthly dividend, which makes it quite special, actually, um, there's always a huge amount of people um, talking about the stock at all times, which of course um, means that there are more people uh, getting into the stock and finding more uh, find, finding out more about the stock as well so that's actually a driver for more investors looking to find a way into the stock next there's the diversification i already briefly mentioned it but the companies diversify its portfolio across various industries and geographies helps mitigate risks associated with specific sectors or regions and of course the strategic expansion that comes along as well um, meaning realty income's focus right now is on a strategic expansion and it provides opportunities for growth through acquiring new properties and increasing rental income so next let's have a look at my personal forecast for the stock so with all things there comes a bull scenario and a bear scenario the stock's um, development itself depends on market situation meaning in a bull market favorable economic conditions may lead to increased demand for retail properties high occupancy rates and potential uh, rental increases which could positively impact the stock conversely there's um, in a bear market or uh, basically in an economic downturn there are challenges such as tenant bankruptcies reduced consumer spending and negative investor sentiment towards real estate investments and that could affect the stock's performance in a negative way as well so I personally um, will give you my own conclusion to this and how I feel about the stock and whether it may find a spot in my community portfolio. So realty income appeals to income focused investors seeking reliable monthly dividends and the potential for long term risk and uh, risk adjusted returns. The company's business model diversified for portfolio and strategic expansion efforts contribute to its uh, appeal. However, investors should be aware of the risk associated with tenant challenges, interest rates, sensitivity and market conditions. Conservative investors seeking stable dividend stable dividend payments and exposure to the real estate sector may find realty income suitable for their portfolio while those with a higher risk tolerance and a focus on growth may prefer more aggressive investment options 
then of course please note that this analysis is based on my personal information and opinion meaning um, you should always self-reflect on this and its current market condition um, and of course seek a financial investor if if you may uh, result to some sort of buy or sell uh, choice so in my opinion realty income is a very good choice for the mid and long term short term wise it may actually recover quite a bit since it took quite the downturn in the past year we may however only see it recovering uh, in a few months from now meaning growth stocks uh, may see a much faster recovery due to uh, it being a lot faster and, and being more visible in their um, sales data so um, is this a stock that I would buy to make quick money uh, of course not um, but is, is this right now a good uh, entry point into the stock uh, and maybe good for dividend investors that would like to build up on that yes of course and I personally I would like this uh, stock in my community portfolio I'll keep you guys updated on that and make a separate video on this as well I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always i would like to thank you for watching uh, and of course comment your own opinion and make sure to subscribe to this channel um, in case you don't want to miss any new um, stock reviews and analysis